Police officer and a firefighter are at home recovering after testing positive for COVID-19. A number of other first responders are awaiting their test results. They are also at home, but soon they will have another place to stay. It took no time to say yes. The decision was a quick one for the University of New Haven. The school that takes pride in training many first responders who ventured the line of duty will be housing some. First responders are going to be alums uh, because uh, we've got a lot of alums in the police and fire. UNH is offering the city of New Haven and West Haven about 250 dorm rooms for first responders trying to self-isolate away from their families if they so choose. They say rooms will be ready in a day or two. They'll all be living in single rooms, actually single suites. Um, they'll have um, their own restroom facilities, their own kitchens. Um, so the, the risk of exposing others in the environment is minimal. New Haven police and fire each had a member of their force test positive for COVID-19. Both are at home recovering. Their departments have contacted members who may have been exposed. That's, you know, probably the most significant aspect of the plan is to make sure that people are quarantining. We're identifying them early. The fire department has 13 people off the force awaiting test results. Chief John Alston is frustrated with the slow process. Only four have come back all negative. We are monitoring our folks uh, every day, twice a day. And as we see changes in their uh, physical um, well-being. Uh, we're making the adjustments. Streamlining tests for first responders is in the works with Yale New Haven Hospital, according to a university spokesperson. We're in conversations with the hospital about how to uh, speed up the processing of the test, and the hospital has been very amenable to working with us. After initially denying the city's request for housing, Yale University says that they are willing to provide 300 beds for first responders if need be. They are also willing to house medical personnel. A New Haven police and the fire department say that they have plans in place in case a critical number of staff members are out in which they will call on other towns for assistance. Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.